Hey, we back. I'm here with some crappy audio. Sorry guys, I do not have my mic with me right now, so you're just going to have to cope. Um, I've tried to make it as uh, good as possible, but it's just not going to work super well. However, um, we have a nice video today where I'm going to be going through uh, how to get Kakua, basically. Um, it's that again, uh, but the difference is this time um, I'm going to explain how you get the most possible Kakua. Um, if, if you have all the upgrades, um, just basically to demonstrate that it is really the upgrades that make the difference. The more upgrades you get, the more Kakua you are going to get uh, as well. Uh, because trust me, you can get a lot of Kakua. Uh, now I think we can all agree when you start out on the day, you're basically getting about, I don't know, like 800 Kakua per day. You've probably got maybe two or three reactions from your 100% power. They're probably going to give you a, a couple of hundred each. And you've also got your DK, which is going to be another couple of hundred. So that's about 800 Kakua in total. I think that's a pretty reasonable estimate. Uh, but I've claimed in the past uh, that if you have everything maxed out, you can get up to 100,000 Kakua every day. And I'm going to put some maths behind that to prove it. Uh, that's basically the idea. Um, now, it's not going to be too mathsy because I've basically done it all already, so you don't need to worry about that. Um, but to put things in perspective, I would like to draw your attention to Kakura Towers. Now, we have the info here on the official Madei server what Kakura Towers do. Uh, and this is especially with level 9 towers. Gold keys, max bonus, increased by 500 Kakura per 3 hours. Now, the gold keys, max bonus... Uh, by default in three hours is, I'm pretty sure, four and a half thousand Kakua. Um, we can actually go and uh, check that uh, pretty easily. Uh, if I go on here, for example, uh, and I go and have a look at bonus, uh, we can see that gold keys bonus is 5,000, and that's 500 from KT. So yeah, it starts off at four and a half thousand. So we've got 4,500 added to whatever we get from our tower. Now, when I say maxed out, obviously with some things like the tower, you can keep upgrading them forever. So I'm going to max out everything that is reasonably able to max out, and that includes this floor 9. And now if we have a look at the limits, uh, perk 9 is limited to the value of 10,000 Kakua per 3 hours. Now this means you have to buy 20 towers to max it out. This is going to take a long time to do, uh, but I meant what I said when you max everything out. And obviously, like I say, the more upgrades you get, the faster you get Kakua. So as much as it sounds very difficult to get level 20 tower, and trust me, it is very difficult to get level 20 tower, um, it is possible if you uh, have a lot of other upgrades, if you put a lot of time into the bottom, most likely if you abuse Bites the Dust Requiem. Uh, but that's not what we're here to do today. So 10,000 Kakura per three hours. That is added on, remember, to the 4,500 that we had from before. So that gives us 14,500 per three hours. Uh, now remember, this uh, perk 9 has uh, a reset, the same as claims. Let's suppose your average person is going to be staying up for about 15 hours per day. I think that seems pretty normal. That's nine hours sleep, right? Now, if you time that, I know this is extreme, but just go with me, okay? If you time that with resets, you get up, you have reset, you go through your 15 hours, you have another reset at the end, and then you go to sleep. That actually gives you 21 hours worth of resets in a day. Seven resets. Uh, while you're still sleeping for basically nine hours a day, you are getting seven resets. Um, now, again, this is pretty extreme. Uh, if you're timing your sleeping with my day. But if you've maxed everything out, let's go with it. It's the, not the most unreasonable thing that's going to be in the video, right? You can trust me on that one. So, seven resets per day, and we're getting 14,500 Kakua on each one of them. So let me just plug that into the calculator, and I will now tell you, you are already getting 101,500 Kakua just from this just from your gold keys, 100,000 Kakura per day. Now, of course, this relies on the fact that you're able to hit this limit every time. But if you look at servers like this, where um, if we go into <laughs> the so far down, all these flood things, you'll notice that every character here has hundreds of keys. And if you own someone in the top 10, you're going to be hitting that 
14 and a half thousand limit every time you roll them. So if you have a big enough server with enough hundreds of keys on every character, trust me, you will hit this and you will get that 100,000 Kepler. So we're already at the, the figure that I originally stated. We're already there. 100,000 Kakra per day has been hit, and all you've done is got some gold keys. Obviously, this is very difficult to do, because you still need to max out your tower, and you need to get hundreds of keys on all your characters, and it's going to take a while. But there's still, of course, other ways of getting Kakra, isn't there? So, let's go on to the next most obvious route, um, which is... Uh, with uh, level 7 and 8 here, the actual Kaku reactions. This is how you normally get Kaku, isn't it? Now, if you take this into account here, the minus 4% Kaku power, and again, the limit of this, uh, this is 30% uh, power, 15% uh, with characters for 10 plus keys. Now, we've already assumed that most of the keys that you've got are stupidly high leveled. Um, so, hitting only Kaku that are 15% uh, and our soulless Kakuas, you know, the level 10 ones, that shouldn't be too difficult. Um, and considering that they're all that high and there should be a lot of them going around, you can also take into account um, the level 3 keys. That should be on here somewhere. Here we go, level 3 keys, which means teal and green are replaced by orange Kakua. So forget your sapphire 4s, we're now claiming orange Kakua all the time. So we're getting at about 750 Kakua per react. And we are getting one react every 15% of our power. So, how long does it take to get 15% power? Well, I'll tell you, it's 45 minutes, because it's 3 minutes per percentage. Pretty sure I've done that maths before. So, every 45 minutes, you are getting 750 Kakura. Once again, we can plug that into our value. We said you'd be up for 15 hours, right? So, uh, 15 hours times 60, that gives you 900 minutes. Uh, divide that by 45 is 20, and times that by 750 gives you 15,000 Kakura from Reacts every day. Sorry, you can't see the calculator to this time, but hopefully you can follow al along with the maths that I'm doing. 15,000 Kakura just from Reacts. But we've also not yet considered... We've not yet considered... Uh, per Number seven, which is your max Kakua power. Now, this one, as it says here, uh, does not have a limit. But if we take the same number of towers as we had with number nine here, we say, okay, you've got 20 towers, right? That means you start off with 100%, you then get 110% on the next tower, and then it goes up by 5% every time. After 20 towers, you are going to be at 205% max power. So let's say you wake up in the morning, you have max power, 205%, right? So that 205%, we can take that, divide that by 15, and we get 13 reactions. I'm rounding it down because it wouldn't be fair otherwise. So, yeah, 13 reactions from that power. You times that again by your 750 reactions, uh, Kakua per reaction, we get another 10,000. Now consider your DK. Your DK is going to do the same as that because your DK, as per the uh, gold 4 bonus here, uh, fully restores your Kakura React power, which is going to be 205%. We just worked out that 205% power is worth 10,000 Kakura. So you're getting 10,000 Kakura from your DK. Plus, of course, the actual DK gives you Kakura already, and given uh, my day pins here, increasing your DK by one per, there's about 800 of these, you get about 1,000 Kakura per DK. So you get 1,000 per DK, 10,000 from the power that you got from your DK. Now you're at 11,000 Kakura just for your DK. Add that on to the 10,000 that you got from your power when you first woke up, and your preceding uh, 15,000 that you got throughout the day from it regenerating, you're now up to, uh, let me just maths that a sec, I believe 36,000 from Kakaru Reacts, add that on to the 100,000 from Gold Keys, you're now at uh, technically 137,000 Kakaru every single day. The number is continuing to go up, people. <laughs> and remember, um, some stuff here you can't max out if you can get yourself infinite Kakua power from your uh, 
from your tower level 7, for example, then you can get infinite Kakara, theoretically, as long as you wait for it to regen. So, yes, this is, uh, this is starting to get a little extreme, isn't it? Let's move on, though, because there are other ways to get Kakara. Let's consider something a little more simple. Bronze 4. Every time you claim a character from your character wish list, you earn 500 Kakara. This isn't very extreme, because you don't get wishes that often. But wait, if we're saying you've maxed everything out, you are going to be having loads of rolls, potentially hundreds of them, right? Um, you are going to be having um, maxed out Wish Protect. Um, obviously, your Silver Badge is going to be helping you rolling wishes, and your Disable list is going to be stupidly large. Rolling a wish every reset at this point is actually not unreasonable. You can get a wish every reset pretty easily once you've got everything maxed out. So that means this 500 Kakura every time you roll a wish is actually every reset. Now we just said you would hit seven resets in a day, so this by itself suddenly is three and a half thousand Kakura per day. You add that onto our current value, with a bit of rounding, we get 140,000. But this is not the only thing that we can use, even in this list, because Emerald 4 is also giving you Kakura. Each claim also gives you the Kakura value of the character. Now, we said already that our assumption here is that all of the characters in the server you're in have hundreds of keys. That means they're all going to be worth thousands of Kakura. Even the super low-ranked characters are going to be worth thousands. And if you decided to do a reset before taking this experiment here into account, your characters are going to be worth considerably more than that. I honestly think saying that you should be able to claim a character worth 5,000 uh, Kakura every claim is not unreasonable. When you have hundreds of keys, why not? Because, of course, keys also don't have a limit. You theoretically could get all the characters in the bot up to worth hundreds of thousands. So saying each one is worth thousands, perhaps 5,000, is not too unreasonable, I don't think. If you want examples of this, once again, you can uh, go down here on the uh, Midday server and check out the value of some of the characters here, because trust me, they're all worth like 5,000 at least, even the super low-ranked characters. So, taking that into account, you're now getting another 5,000 Kakura every claim reset. Once again, we're getting seven resets every day. So that's 35,000 Kakura per day from the Emerald 4 bonus. We are now up to a running total of 175,000 Kakura per day. It's now getting even more extreme, isn't it? <laughs> now mention Silver 4. This is another method of getting Kakura. This one is kind of difficult to work out straight with maths, because obviously if you have a super large wish list, then people will be claiming your wishes all the time. If we're taking the official Midday server as an example down here, then you can assume that other people on the server are going to be very active and are going to be claiming your wishes all the time. So your Silver 4 bonus is probably going to be going off a lot, and especially since I don't play in servers like this, I can't really estimate it. Uh, but we, we we can assume that you are going to be making more Kakura from this Silver 4 bonus, probably more than your Bronze 4 quite easily, as long as you're constantly refreshing your wish list to make sure that the stuff on it is being claimed. Because, of course, if you have no claim, then, you know, you can't take it anyway, so might as well get the Silver 4 bonus. Another thing to mention is your RT. RT is giving you an extra claim every five hours once you've maxed out all of your Kakura loots. So... Now we've got extra resets. Not extra resets in terms of your gold keys, which is giving you the bulk of your Kakura at the moment still, but extra resets in terms of your Emerald 4, in terms of your Bronze 4, and it's extra Kakura. Again, I'm not going to do the maths on that, but you can see how this, even this stupid value of 175,000 Kakura per day is not the maximum. You've still got your Silver 4, you've still got your RT, you've still got all manner of things. And like I said, if you really want, you can go and get even more towers and, and increase your Kakura per day from that. There is a lot of ways to get Kakura in this bot. And just going over a few of them here with maxed out uh, upgrades, we've already hit 175,000 and beyond. Uh, now if you consider teaming up, maybe get an ult, and then even using Bites of the Dust Requiem, it would get stupid, wouldn't it? There is realistically no end to the amount of Kakura that you can get on this bot if you have upgrades behind you. 
especially if you have people behind you as well. Um, it, it really is quite easy. Um, you can also consider as well things like Kakarot Copy, the premium command, uh, which I'm pretty sure you can use to double your Kakarot on the server. Uh, I'm not exactly sure how it works in that kind of scenario because I don't have premium. But in that case, then all of this becomes irrelevant because you can just Kakarot Copy every month and get loads of Kakarot. It'd be ridiculous. My point here in this video is simply to say, get upgrades. <laughs> you know? Upgrades do a lot, and uh, if you assume as many upgrades as you can imagine, then what you end up with as much as Kakura as you can imagine as well. And it really, it really does get pretty stupid after you start looking into these things. Do I actually expect anyone to get 175,000 Kakura per day? Absolutely not, because if you if you've got this many maxed upgrades, you probably have a, a different method of getting Kakura anyway, like Kakura Copy, for example, or Bites the Dust Requiem. There's plenty of methods to do it, um, but don't ever think that you have hit the limit of Madei. You can always upgrade more stuff. There's always more to do, and you can always get more Kakura as well. It always helps. That's another good point. Kakura always helps. Um, you don't have to think that you've now got all the upgrades and you shouldn't bother with Kakua because, oh trust me, you should still bother with Kakua. Because of course the other point is in the meantime of getting this 175,000 Kakua per day, we have also guaranteed the chance of getting a wish every reset and other such things. Which is obviously helping with getting the characters that you want, isn't it? So, anyway, I'm going to leave this one here. Bye!